Hi Dixons, I'm Justine Oldham, Associate Executive Principal for our Dixons Primary Schools. Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to our platform at www.dixonsos.com. This is the second episode in our mini-series on retrieval practice in our primary academies. So please like and follow for further instalments. If you haven't done so already, please see our previous videos on retrieval practice. Retrieval practice is a study method that encourages students to engage with the material in an active way in order to get information into long-term memory. Having students actively recall information will benefit their learning hugely in any year group. One tool that can be used to support retrieval practice in the classroom is the knowledge organiser. A knowledge organiser is a one-page document which presents curated, essential, organised knowledge with clarity. Knowledge is presented in a format which facilitates retrieval practice, elaboration and organisation to develop schema. We design our primary knowledge organisers with retrieval practice in mind. Knowledge organisers can be simply read but by designing them in such a way as to facilitate retrieval, we can get so much more use out of them. Curriculum leaders need to think carefully about the core knowledge that goes into the knowledge organiser. The most powerful knowledge organisers are the ones that form the basis of a schema that can then be built upon and added to, as students are taught more linked concepts. Knowledge needs to be presented in a clear, systematic and efficient way. In primary schools, knowledge organisers need to include just the key facts in bite-sized chunks. To ensure consistency across the whole academy and reduce cognitive overload, we use an agreed format. However, the content is organised in the method best suited to displaying that information. For example, a range of dates are highlighted on a timeline. Key vocabulary is made explicit and boxed up. The content is organised in a sequence that allows each section to build on the previous section. It's logical and it flows between sections for easy use by students. Sections are labelled for easy navigation an appropriate thought has been given to where images are used or not used. We ensure that knowledge organisers are as simple as they can be with just the key information to avoid cognitive overload. Sections of the knowledge organiser can be easily covered or folded. We reduce unnecessary words to allow students to focus on the content. Diagrams, bullet points, timelines, labels and tables all provide clarity and present the information clearly. And we are careful only to include capital letters on words which need them, for example, Christian, Bible. Primary teachers plan knowledge organisers with support from SLT and subject specialists and this in turn provides opportunities for primary teachers to develop subject knowledge and promotes deep and careful thinking about the knowledge to be taught. We will elaborate further in a later episode on knowledge organisers and we'll show examples of knowledge organisers being used in primary classrooms. We also will talk about other forms of retrieval in later episodes, so please do like and follow for our next instalments.